Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA Tech Tip on ERMI. ERMI stands for the Environmental Relative Moldiness Index, and it's a method for evaluating levels of mold in a home. Let me start by giving you the background. HUD, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, conducted the American Healthy Home Survey in 2005 and 2006, which evaluated over a thousand representative homes across the United States. Among other measurements, they collected a dust sample from two square meters in the living room combined with two square meters in the bedroom. The dust was analyzed for mold using quantitative polymerase chain reaction, or PCR for short. This method detects and quantifies the presence of mold DNA in the dust. With qPCR analysis, nothing is viewed through a microscope or even grown on a petri dish. One of the key limitations to qPCR is that the lab will only check for the DNA of species you specifically request. And as you would guess, the more species you check for, the greater the cost. So where does ERMI fit in? After analyzing the dust samples of that national HUD study via qPCR, researchers came up with a somewhat complicated formula that would spit out a single number that could be used to compare homes. The ERMI number of a home could then be compared to the thousand plus homes of that HUD study to see how it stacks up statistically. Well, a few quick details on that ERMI number. It's based on qPCR results of a 36 species panel, which was selected because of its wide distribution. Of the 36 species, 26 are associated with water damage and 10 are not. The calculations involve base 10 logarithms, so this short video can't go into all the details of the ERMI score. ERMI has been used by some researchers to show that an elevated ERMI score impacts health outcomes, such as increased risk for asthma. This has led many mold assessors to use ERMI to evaluate levels of mold in homes. However, the Environmental Protection Agency cautions that ERMI should only be used for research at this time. Dust samples are useful for getting a longer-term perspective on mold conditions of a home, especially when collected from dust reservoirs that aren't regularly cleaned. I'll conclude by saying this. Keep your eyes on ERMI and stay abreast of new developments. Molecular methods such as qPCR are the future of this field of study. To learn more about ERMI and other sampling methods, consider taking a class in the IAQA University. Visit the IAQA website for more information.